Imagine the opportunity to combine something you love with supporting the people you love. That's exactly what our next guests are doing to help fight cancer in their community. Kathy Lamer, Janae Klein, and Kylie Cook are with the Colton Area Pink Ladies Dart League. They're joining us today to explain how they use their love of playing darts to raise money to support those fighting cancer and how the organization has now ventured off into a new fundraising effort to support their cause. Welcome, ladies. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you Good for to be having here. us. Yes, thank you so much for coming in. Kathy, tell us a little bit about Pink Ladies Dart League, the history back for how it even started. Last October was our 10-year anniversary. Um, it's my understanding that there was a group of ladies that loved to play darts down in Yankton, South Dakota, about 10, well, now about almost 11 years ago. And they had a friend that uh, was sick with cancer, and they just didn't know how to help her. So they, uh, throughout visiting and the help of some other people that were big in the dart industry and the, playing the games, they decided that they were going to start the pink, very first Pink Ladies chapter. So they started a Pink Ladies Dart League down there, and it's, kind of, it's grown from there. We are in, um, nationwide. There's chapters all over. Um, and there's even a chapter up in Canada now. Wow, that's incredible. Mm -hmm. Especially to be nationwide, starting right here in Yankton, South Dakota, right? Right. Yes. So when did the Colton Area Pink Ladies Dart League get started? We started um, probably about midway through 2019. And we, of course, had the little hiccup in 2020 where we took a little break. So mm -hmm. I'd say yeah. it was about 2019 is when we, st we started our chapter and we became a legal 501c3 in 2021. So much fun. Well, yes. Janae, tell me a little bit more about the Dart League and like how often do you come together? And I feel like you guys probably have made some really great friendships with everyone who's involved. Very much so. We're all, it's, it's great. It's, it's ladies that we get together on Thursday nights right now is our league that we have going on. Um, we, sometimes it's all ladies. Sometimes like this one that we're having now is co-ed. So we actually have some husbands playing with wives and friends that have come in. So we've kind of grown it that way. Um, we try to do two seasons a year. Um, October, we have state Pink Ladies Dart Tournament in Brookings, South Dakota. So then all the chapters come together and we have a big dart tournament for the weekend. And you, like you say, you meet lots of friends. So you get to see those faces that you haven't seen in a year and it brings everybody together. And it's a weekend of pink. It's just the camaraderie and the ladies. It's, it's just fun to see everybody and get together and not only play darts, but you do good things. And that feeling of you leave and you're just happy and you know that you're doing good things in your communities and it's all an effort of all these ladies that come together in these small towns and so it's just fun to be part of. And we're gonna get to the purses part of this too, but as far as fundraising efforts go, Janae, you guys have been involved in other different types of events as well. Tell us a little bit about that. We like to do some of our events. We do um, trivia nights where we'll have some silent auction baskets and things that we'll auction off also. So that's one thing we do. We do dart tournaments at the local TJ's bar that we play out of. Um, one of the big ones that we were involved in was last October for Breast Cancer Awareness Month. We located or we grouped with the Tri-Valley Junior Class of 2024 and they had a the Mustangs tackle breast cancer football game. With that, they made Mustang jerseys with that were maroon and pink that the players played in all game, all night long, and then they auctioned these jerseys off. And so the money from that went to also support the class of 2024, but then they donated back for the Pink Ladies group for us to help in the community as well. So now, Kylie, I'm sure everyone watching right now is probably thinking, okay, what are all these purses doing here, and what do they have to do with playing darts? So now, this is the only chapter that does this, right? Tell us a little bit about what is even going on with all these purses. So basically, we decided as women, we buy purses regardless. So why not, you know, when you're going to buy something, you know, do it for a better cause. So basically, we went out and just had a heyday one day and bought everything from wallets to beauty bags to purses to travel bags to duffel bags, everything you could possibly imagine. And it's one of those things where it's not just for the ladies, we also have stuff for men. So we try and include everything and we have something for everyone, whether your budget is $10 or you got that 250 to buy that Michael Kors or you know Kate Spade. Um, so we have those as well. So it's just kind of like being able to have everyone be involved. Um, whether they're children, you know, we got kids' purses that have the um, poppets. Oh, oh, yeah. The, the fit, but yeah, the, so they're textured, you know, and things like that and fun things for them. And it's just, I mean, 
Who doesn't love a purse? <laughs> and I'm sure it's fun to go out and buy them. Do you do it all together? Yes, it was fabulous. The first one that we did, we actually went out and went shopping and then went to the smash room. And it's fun. just, we try and do things to keep us all together because let's be real, everyone's life is hectic and it's just kind of fun to have those fun moments and come together as sisters, friends, and you know, let's go shopping and get that itch taken care of, but yet it's also helping out in the community and money is going back to families. And anyone can buy these purses by just yes. going online. Correct. Yes. We do now have our online open, which is fabulous. Um, and yes, anyone can go on there. It's, was it pink four, the number four? Purses four, the number four, a cause.com. Yes. Makes it really easy to get yeah. one that you like. I mean, look at all the different variety, and this is just a small selection, I'm yes. guessing, right? Small. Yes. <laughs> yes. We try oh. to keep over at least over 200 purses oh, wow. um, in our inventory. My That's office a lot of purses. is quite full. <laughs> Do you usually go out a couple times a year together to get all the purses? Or? We did. Okay. Now that we've expanded, um, it's a little bit, of, it's a collaborative effort. You know, um, I'll send out the call of, hey, ladies, we need more purses. And then everybody kind of goes online and we start shopping. And then we start mm -hmm. sending um, pictures back and forth and say, what about this one? What about that one? And then, yeah. um, so we do order some offline. And then, you know, we still try and get together too so that we can just go shopping and have a day and, and buy a bunch. <laughs> and I know that you said that there's chapters nationwide, one in Canada even. When you have your chapter, do, does all the proceeds stay local or is it one giant no, it stays that it local. Goes into? So okay. e each chapter is actually independent. Okay. Um, but we all agree from yeah. the get-go that we play darts, we love darts, and we love people and we want to help people. So we also agree that 100% of all the proceeds stay in either in your community or what you choose to do as your chapter to help the families that are... Um, stressed with medical problems or cancer. Affected. Well, I love it. Thank you ladies so much for coming in and telling us more about Pink Ladies Dark League. You're welcome.